Hello to all my friends out there. Well, we're back in the kitchen where I belong. So I'm wearing some of the jewelry I sell. This is a Buddha necklace and it's carved out of shell. That's what my neighbor told me. That doesn't mean it wasn't mass produced, but it's pretty and I sell this kind of stuff. So this is, I'm not selling this because I just really like it. And these are very easy to sell if you can find them. So I want to show you two things. You know, I told you guys I sell plus size stuff. So look at this nice um, sweater. This is a real fuzzy warm sweater. I'm trying to start a plus size online store. So I was happy I found that. And then look at this. This is a big, huge double bed afghan. And I will try to sell it, but if it doesn't sell, that's okay. I suggested giving it to the dog, but my son said no. Okay, so today I was looking at candles. Uh, candles are a little bit pricey, you guys. You know where I got this candle and it's so nice. I bought a couple of them um, at, um, oh, what is that place? Uh, I, I forget, but I'll tell you if I think of it. Okay, so tonight I'm making a dinner. I'm making dinner and I want to make something good, but I don't want to spend a lot because the best thing we can possibly do is live the best possible life we possibly can right now because, you know, who knows what the future holds. Uh, the best thing to do is assume everything's going to be okay because it usually is ultimately. So the first thing I want to make is a tasty little salad. This works better with square napkins, but it's still cute. Okay, so uh, today I went to Sprouts and I thought, you know, um, sometimes I'm gonna have salads. Sometimes I'm just gonna have frozen vegetables or canned vegetables. Butter, lettuce, and red leaf lettuce. This stuff was good. I thought, okay, I'll try it, let's see. It wasn't the cheapest lettuce I ever bought, but right now I think the most important thing is get some nutritious food. Let me chop it. I don't like my lettuce in big chunks. Uh, you know, try to get nutritious food uh, that doesn't cost too much. Enjoy life. Uh, what would be really super duper is to get through this uh, whole recession and everything that's going on unharmed, you know. That's a lot. I know I don't want like that much. So um, my daughter-in-law is taking statistics and my son said, well, mom, you took statistics. And I go, yeah, but that was a long time ago. And I said, do this, do that. Finally, I said, do you remember when I used to sit at the kitchen table and do my problems for hours? That's what she's going to have to do. I bought these nice, you know, the little. And so I was thinking about problem solving. Actually, statistics is good because then you can read charts and graphs at a glance and they're not that hard to construct. So you might be thinking, why does a nursing uh, student need to take statistics? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing myself. Actually, it was a pretty good little class that comes in handy for all kinds of things like when they try to tell us stuff that is totally unfounded. So tonight, as I'm cooking, I'm going to talk about solving problems. So there's different kinds of problems. That's good. I don't need too many carrots. Uh, so usually I have either carrots or uh, cucumbers, one or the other. So let's see. Problems. What kind of problems? Okay, there's uh, problems that work themselves out. There's problems that work themselves out over time. 
there's problems solved if you do something. Like if you have a substance abuse problem, you're probably unfortunately gonna have to quit using drugs or alcohol. Long-term problems. That means the problems are long-term and there's nothing we can do about it. And then there's insurmountable problems. Those are the various kinds of problems, generally. Most of the problems work themselves out in time. So uh, problems we're uh, facing are COVID, the recession, money, grand solar minimum. So uh, we want to, you know, think about these problems, you know, in relations to ourselves. Okay, so the COVID, if you have managed to stay COVID free, or if you got the COVID and you survived it, then you should have some natural immunity. Or if you took the vaccination, you know, you should have some safety. They're not saying complete, so, you know. But I would say the best thing is keep exercising care. Uh, it's, it's a problem that's gonna work itself out one way or another. Uh, uh, the solution to that problem for some people is they're going to get it and, and it's going to kill them. That's the solution we want to avoid. Wow, where is my balsamic vinegar rat dressing? Well, it's in there. Time's a wasting. Okay, so some people, the, the solution is they're going to get the COVID and they're going to die. That's a solution. Um, I, I found out something. Okay, here's a nice little piece of salmon I bought one day at 99 cent only. And normally I would cut this in four pieces, but I didn't because I must have bought it. I bought it cheap, I know that. So all I did, since it was already seasoned, is I just put some oil on it and I baked it 350. So this couldn't be easier. Actually, the natural immunity is probably the best, but you know, that's dangerous because you know, like me, I am unwilling to catch it if I can avoid it. Sometimes you can't. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut off. The, ooh, this looks good. A nice little piece. And then I'm just going to put the rest in the freezer or refrigerator and then I'm just going to eat it. So figure if I cut it in three pieces, it was about $1.25 each. Yummy. And then I bought Markdown. Now if you get into the Markdown shopping, can really save you money. A uh, grocery outlet's good, but I bought this at 99 cent only. Uh, Italian inspired, savory, lemon flavored, conscious with sunflower seeds. I go, that would be good with fish. So I've never tried it before. And you just add it to boiling water and this is what happens. Ow. Right, and if there's some left, I don't know how you would describe this. I think this is a grain. Here's what it looks like. So the whole thing, this would be maybe $2. I guess it's wheat. So this is a pretty decent dinner and it was dirt cheap too and I have some tea and so in the back I don't know if you can see it see my mint tea and my my there's my mint plant and here's my parsley plant so what I did on the last mint plant let me show you I just cut the leaves off see and then when all the leaves were cut off they say don't cut off 50% of your plant, but last time I cut off all my leaves and then I planted it in the garden and then I, everything is hot. I just uh, boiled my uh, leaves in water. Here it is. It's a pretty tea. Oh, rats, I thought if I got it in here, you guys would be able to see it. 
Well, you're not going to be able to see. Well, that makes me mad. How am I supposed to demonstrate it's a pretty tea? Well, and it's good just, I just made two cups. So as not to, can, is it showing? No. So as not to sacrifice too many of my leaves. Oh, it boiled down to just being barely a, a, a cup. I'm gonna put my leaves in there. That's pretty. So this is a decent meal and it's very inexpensive. I give up. So I was watching the Catholic, um, I was watching the Catholic, uh, what do you call it, videos. I, I'm not sure all those people are Catholics. You can't see them and they say, they, they pretend like they're nuns and stuff. I'm not so sure. So what they're saying is the vaccination was prepared using fetal cells, so don't take it because uh, that is the mark of the beast. So I'm not so sure about that. Um, so in this case, and that if you take it, your soul is lost and the devil can enter into your soul a lot easier. So people are terrified, you know, they've been told by the Catholic Church not to take it. So um, it's one of those things, risk versus benefits. So if, if you can uh, go without it, that would be a good thing. I didn't want to because I didn't want to take the chance of not being able to travel. Um, not that I'm going to travel, but the fact that they could cause us not to be able to travel like evacuate if things got bad, like even from state to state. Uh, one of the risk versus benefit things that I did was in uh, the self-help group, the issue of the higher power, you know, doesn't really, I don't really like it, but I could either put up with the higher power thing or, you know, possibly kill myself somehow drinking. Okay, so one of the reasons we're seeing this job quitting is because someone at the job will get the COVID and then other people are terrified and they quit, which is legitimate because they're not vaccinated. Because, you know, so that's up to everyone. Uh, I didn't really want to take it myself, but I thought, the risk versus the benefit thing. If I give it to my daughter-in-law, she can't take care of the baby like that. Okay, now recessions. Uh, okay, the recession would be uh, problems that work themselves out over time. So, you know, here I am in my kitchen making myself a decent dinner. Good nutrition is key to staying healthy. I've never eaten this stuff. Here it is, 50 cents. I will try it. That is good. The thing about this is a pretty cheap side. So, okay, the, the recession most likely will work itself out in time. What we want to do is avoid getting ruined financially by be, being extremely careful with our money. I bought this salmon cheap. I don't eat the skin. They're admitting this is a, tre a, a recession. We've had two, they're admitting to two bad quarters. However, I think this is going on year two. Uh, this thing could play out 10 years. I've been through them. 
lots of them. And so what I did is I just went to work. I want to keep my life as normal as I possibly can. I don't want to hang out in thrift stores because I don't want to take the chance of catching the COVID. So I'll just shop maybe one or two days a week. The problem is if the recession goes into a depression. Um, right now, I would say the unemployment is at least 30%. That kind of indicates a depression. Another thing we're watching for a stock market crash or a real estate crash. Uh, here where I live, the, the houses are $1 million and up. And so you might be thinking, well, how much higher could it go? Well, that remains to be seen. Okay. And then if you play it out even worse, possible famine. So, you know, a lot of people, the street people are experiencing a famine as we speak. It's really bad. Okay, uh, and laws, we're getting more laws. Okay, we had, let's see, you can't buy gas lawnmowers. My son went to get a shed to put his lawnmower in and there was no sheds. Um, you know, there's all kinds of new laws that we have to follow. Okay, now for the problem of money. Okay, inflation is not going to get better because we have the issue of raw materials, lumber, production, labor, and delivery. And in and amongst the population, we have increased debt and your dollar buys less, that's inflation. And then if you uh, max out your um, credit and you don't have cash, that's when you're in a real world of hurt. I've seen that many times in my jobs. I've seen a lot of bad stuff. Okay, and then we have the grand solar minimum. So out here, uh, it's generally very, very hot until uh, after Halloween. Well, it seems to have cooled off two weeks early. So why these grand solar minimums are bad is because they affect the crop cycle. So shorter crop cycles, less yields, no one to pick the crops, no one to deliver the crops. The prices go up and you know, it's just, a really bad uh, situation but hopefully we've stockpiled food we're going to be securing our money we're going to this is one of the um the long-term problems there's no getting out of this it's a lot easier to stay out of it you know don't make it any worse like the cars are extremely expensive now so every day, you know, we're watching every cent. I mean, not to the point of being miserable. Now, my suffering eating my 50 cent side and my dollar 25 cent salmon and my salad, no, I'm fine. And so for years, this is the way I lived. And you know, in time it pays off. So you guys, that is it. I will be back, and this is a stockpile meal. I stockpiled all this stuff, except for the vegetables. So, please like, comment. Oh, I want to mention something. This is to do with the tea that I made out of my tea leaves. I'm trying to find tea leaf food. Like, uh, I got tea, I got parsley, lettuce, spinach, and bay leaves. And if you have any... Um, leaf foods, you know, like um, photosynthesizing food. Photosynthesizing is the exact opposite of respiration. So it's a good thing to be eating these protective plants with um, lemon, with vinegar, with citrus. Okay, you guys, I will see you tomorrow. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.